So the prophet himself uh, encouraged uh, learning about, you know, a, a person's anatomy as well as uh, learning about the world uh, around mm -hmm. you. Is that correct? Absolutely. Yeah, I and think was, some of this yeah. drove some of some of this uh, uh, religious motive uh, drove mm -hmm. some of uh, the the discoveries uh, uh, in within medieval Islam. For example, uh, wherever a, a Muslim is around the world, they need to be able to to know the direction of Mecca. They need mm -hmm. to know what direction to turn to pray. And this necessitated mm -hmm. uh, the creation of very accurate maps by uh, uh, by scholars uh, that yes. hailed from the Abbasid dynasty. For example, uh, the, the the seventh uh, uh, the seventh caliph or caliph Caliph Al Mamun mm -hmm. of the uh, Abbasid yes. dynasty. He himself was an intellectual, and he was obsessed with 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 measurement. So uh, one of the things uh, 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 his uh, his map makers did was that they, well, map making wasn't new. I mean, it was around since the time of the Babylonians, but mm -hmm. the Abbasids uh, uh, took it to a whole different level. Uh, yes. What they did was they, they even took into account the curvature of the earth. So, which means that uh, if you can account for the, the curvature of the earth, you create more accurate maps and accounting for the curvature of the earth also meant measuring the earth. Yes. The Greeks had done this hundreds of years before uh, Ar Aristosthenes uh, from Alexandria, he, he, he um, measured the earth within about 16% of its actual, you know, uh, 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 circumference, uh, circumference, I should say. Yes. Uh, but uh, the, the Abbasid scholars refined this and they were able to measure the earth within 1% of its actual circumference. So this is really an amazing feat of, yes. of medieval science coming from Islamic societies, wasn't it? Yes, and, I, and I'll add this too. Literature, culture, you know, all of this promoted technological advances, even how they began to trade and travel because these, these, these particular sciences, in, 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 in reference to the ones that you mentioned, they made trade and travel much more easier. Uh, agricultural transfer made it much more, uh, more easier. And it improved the overall living conditions of people in that land. One of the things that I read in about the uh, companions. Now, Muhammad, present peace be upon him, he never left Arabia. So the biggest advance in Islam, uh, spread in Islam took place after his death. But it was the companions of him, his, his companions that he taught, who uh, went out or left Arabia to go to different places. Upon doing that, upon doing that, um, one of the stories is given when some Muslim sailors arrived in what is known today as Indonesia. And they were trading, you know, they came with the, with the idea of trading. And one of the things that the Muslim sailors was able to do with the people of Indonesia was show them a superior way to grow rice. Rice is a main diet of people in those, in that part of the world. And one of the uh, companions uh, demonstrated and was able to show uh, through knowledge or through experiences that he had in other some other parts of the world, a superior way for them to grow rice. And through that effort, the people became attentive to the religion because of how the Muslims interacted with them. So you, you have all, all this science and medicine, uh, surgery, being able to diagnose disease, algebra, astronomy, all these things were beneficial and could be attributed to Muslim, uh, Muslim uh, 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 scientists.